What's up guys, Spotabot here. We've got four hours left on Clan War number two. NGT Spiderlings, we're sitting at 53 attacks for 81 stars versus Steel Nations, 66 attacks for 78 stars. So we're, you know, we're beating them on a star per attack basis, but that doesn't mean anything because at the end of the day, whoever has the most stars wins. So we have, I mean, they only have 14 attacks left. But we still have a number of inactive players. I'm not really happy about that. And there's some inactive players that were inactive or will likely be inactive this clan war. Were inactive the last clan war. And there are even some that uh, aren't even ranked in the leagues. Which uh, are running at, what, about 10 days. 9 days right now. So 9 days they haven't had an attack uh, outside of clan wars. And they haven't been taking part in clan wars. So it looks like we're going to be doing some more purging at the end of this war to get more activity from our players all right so i wanted to go over my attacks yes i didn't show you my attacks from the previous clan war because they sucked they were bad but i've improved drastically i had two attacks and both of them were for three stars now i will say okay there's some strategy that i want to talk about because there are some things that i've identified in some of our previous clan wars as well as the ones that that i've been involved in that are very, very important in my mind as far as, you know, who and what we attack, like which bases we attack, etc. okay? And uh, I'm just going to show you an example of, and, and this isn't to come down on the guy, I'm just showing you an example of what I think we can do better in a future clan war, okay? So I'm going to take a look, before I take a look at my specific attacks, I just want to take a look at one small example of where we could have, you know, improved, improved on how many stars we're getting, all right? So there's this guy, Hip Hop, Hip Hop Pop, okay? Now he is the third ranked base, I guess, I, again, I don't know exactly how they rank these bases, but he's third highest on their list, and he was one starred by Glock Easy. If we look at Glock Easy, okay, Glock Easy is, uh, where is he? I mean, he's, he's down here a little ways, right? So he's down here, and... He attacked the third top player on the enemy team, okay? But if I look at the base, okay? If I look at this base, uh, he can be Town Hall Snipe. Now, he does have Tesla, uh, hidden Teslas in and around his Town Hall, but I still think that a much lower, a much lower base or a much lower player on our clan could have Town Sniped this guy um, and the advantage with that is, okay, we could still town, town Hall snipe this guy with a much lower player from our clan. We're still going to get that one star, okay? And that, in turn, allows Glock Easy to have been able to attack somebody that was much lower. And if we look down here, I mean, we have Eddie B2, which we only one starred. Um, even guys down further, Lipe, uh ZS, uh, Alan the Mighty. Right, there are guys that are way down here, J Server, that we still haven't three starred. That Glock Easy could have easily three starred, right? So we could have had a player. I mean, even one of our lowest players may have been able to to town hall snipe um, that guy up at the top, and that would have enabled us to get more stars. You know, for Glock Easy, he could have got two, you know, two stars instead of one, right? And the the other advantage of that is that you know our, our players that are on the lower end. Um, we want them to have those higher bonuses or to be able to get those higher uh, bonuses from the war, right? So if we go to hip hop, I mean, my bonus would be 475, 475 and 1000. I'm not sure if that's the same for everybody. But I mean, that's of greater benefit if we look at one of our, our bottom level players um, like Ziffy or Zin or, or Hydra. Uh, that would benefit those guys a lot more than it would benefit Glock, right? I mean, yes, we all, we all want to get the rewards, but... Uh, I think allowing them to take that one star and getting the benefit of those additional resources to help, you know, bring up their defenses on their bases so they level up and we have everybody at the bottom end of our clan leveling up a, a little bit faster, right, as a result of clan wars. So, and that's what I look for. I mean, if there are anybody, if there's anybody up here that uh, we can attack, uh, that we can town hall snipe because invariably there are some that are able to be town hall sniped. Well, I mean, if you know Todd eight five four, if if his town hall is outside his base, then let one of our really low level players town hall snipe for the one star, and let our high level players, you know, 
tackle some of the guys a little bit further down where they're pretty sure or pretty confident that they can get the three-star win. All right. So we're going to go down to uh, or up here. We're going to find my base. Uh, so one thing I did. So I attacked Andrew and Siler Mac. All right. So if I look over here and I'm going to find Andrew and Siler Mac and they are, you know, a, a ways down. So there's Siler Mac and Andrew. Um, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So Andrew's number seven, Siler Mac's number eight. Now I purposely went a little bit lower. I, I find a lot of you know, some of our guys, they get a little bit overconfident and they attack bases that are a little bit too high for them. They only end up only getting one star sometimes. Whereas if they attack the base a little bit lower, then they could three star. So I think we are leaving some stars on the table. But I, I think as we go and, and do more clan wars and participate in more clan wars, that's just going to evolve naturally. Uh, but my thing was, I wasn't confident. The last clan war, the first clan war that, that I ran... I mean, I, had, I attacked horribly. I attacked horribly. So I needed to come down a little bit in the levels of the bases that I, I was going to attack so I can get that confidence. I wanted to ensure that I would three-star both these bases. And uh, one of them, one of these attacks wasn't even, you know, I, I didn't even run it properly, but I still managed to three-star. So we're going to, um, actually, I got to go over here and replay. So I'm going to replay, I think, uh, let's replay Silent Max first, Okay. For my three-star attack. So there I am. I'm drawing out the clan castle troops. And I'm drawing out the barbarian king. Now I think I got... I think I have all the clan castle troops. I'm pulling in my barbarians at the bottom left of the base. Because I want to draw all those troops way down into the bottom left hand of the base. I'm bringing in the rest of my barbarians and the rest of my archers. Now I do have archers in my clan castle. Uh, I believe... Uh, I believe I have archers and possibly some wizards. So I bring in the rest of them there. And now I'm ready for the hog riders. Now, the hog riders, I'm trying to get them in uh, as quickly as possible onto those wizard towers. And I'm using my healing spells when they're close to the wizard towers and the, the mortars. Now, you can see there were still minions in the clan castle. So I didn't properly take, I didn't properly aggro. I know you guys are saying, uh, it sounded like I was saying ego. Uh, I didn't properly aggro the the clan castle so i didn't pull all the troops I, I i should have brought in another hog rider to try and pull the rest out sometimes it's difficult to see or determine if you've pulled all those troops out the problem i have here now is we've got minions attacking my hog riders and my barbarian king well they can't attack back they, they can't attack air units so the only thing i have left uh is basically what i had in my clan castle and my archers that are going around the bottom right so unfortunately, those minions are taking out my hog riders, and I was getting a little nervous here because they were doing such great work, and then they went after the Barbarian King. Thankfully, I've got some wizards up there now that are taking down some of those minions, but I don't have that many, so it's up to the archers probably to finish them off. So hopefully the minions, you know, <laughs> I only have less than a minute and I still have to get to the middle of the base with my archers. They have to go through some walls to get there uh, to get the the town hall and to get the clan castle. So thankfully those archers are now coming around to the right hand side of the base and hopefully they start attacking those minions and taking them out. Uh, I was hoping that they would take the minions out before they took down my barbarian king, but that wasn't the case because my Barbarian King was close to uh, getting through to the Town Hall and the Clan Castle. But my archers finally made it there, uh, took out the Clan Castle, and now, you know, some of them, I hate that. Some of them went for the Town Hall, and, and the rest of them are going for the wall. So I, I, I was running out of time. I think I still had about 10 to 12 seconds. I think I had 12 seconds left in my attack, uh, and I managed to 100%. So, you know, again, it was a good... You know, attack. I think it was a great attack, other than the fact that I didn't get those minions out of the clan castle. And that was the big, big mistake. And that was the mistake that almost cost me that win. Because, again, bringing those hog riders in, they can't attack, they can't attack the air troops, right? So that was, that was the issue there. Um, my next attack was far better. And again, I'm learning, but it's that confidence. Now I have confidence. Okay, you know, I'm going to look at somebody with a bit higher level base on the next clan war and still try to ensure that I get the three star. It's very, very important that I, that, you know, I want to get that three star. 
even if it means that I attack a lower level base because I don't want to I don't want to leave stars on the table okay so here we go so I aggroed the barbarian king and it looks like I've got everything out of the clan castle the clan castle was nice and close to the edge of the edge of his base so um, he had a bunch of hog riders in there I'm bringing in the barbarians I'm just trying to draw out the uh, get the uh, barbarian king over here bringing in my archers the rest of my barbarians to take the brunt of the attack while the archers go to town on those hog riders and then on the barbarian king and then again trying to bring in you know trying to bring in those hog riders close to both the the um the wizard towers and the mortars again that those defensive structures are going to do the most damage on my hog riders and that's why i bring in my healing spells fairly early. I know people have mentioned, well, wait until your hog riders get down to 50%, whatever. Um, I, I don't necessarily agree with that. I, I want to have them being healed while they're taking the brunt of the damage, while the most, most of my opponent's defenses are active and firing at them, and especially when they're within range of multiple wizard towers and multiple mortars. So try to keep their health close to 100% while they take out a lot of those structures. And then when my healing spells run out, I still have one left. So when, you know, I can use my third one to help also. But at least they've taken down a lot of those defensive buildings by that time. And they're taking, therefore, they're taking less damage uh, because there are less defenses, right? Uh, and there are less, hopefully, fewer uh, splash damage defenses. Um, in the enemy base, so I, I don't really like waiting that long in order to use the healing spell All right, so that's it. That is it. Um, those are my two attacks There are some other attacks that I probably want to highlight uh, I know my attacks are probably going to be very very similar from Clan war to clan war, but the thing is it works uh, th That attack is effective the hog rider attack with a healing spell is effective and I you know my the video I posted a couple months ago what was it? Um, here we go. Yeah, Town Hall 8, Master League. Let's review the uh, the overpowered Hog Rider healing spell raid strategy. And it works, right? So, I, I especially for Clan Wars, I want to get that 3-star. I don't see really changing that kind of attack. So, I'm probably going to look at a lot of other attacks, uh, look highlight attacks you know, against us and attacks that we perform against the enemy clan. And, uh, and highlight some of those because mine will probably be fairly repetitive at least for some some point in time or for a while um, because it's just such an effective attack and I know I can three star with it very very easily uh, obviously depending on the base that I'm attacking so that's it that's your update for clan war number two we'll have more for you later on and uh, there's more that I want to talk about with regards to strategy and uh, you know what bases you should attack and and whatnot because there are definitely some things that I've picked up on as we've gone through these clan wars and have analyzed that's what I do man I, I strategize I analyze and uh, figure out the best way to you know make the best use of our attacks to maximize the number of stars that we can uh, we can get out of these clan wars all right and part of that is getting rid of the dead weight the people who are no longer participating in clash of clans in general or in our clan wars all right We'll catch you next time. Spider out.